Tired of waiting to see the next episode reaction? Why not join the Patreon? You can gain access to reactions that have been uploaded weeks in advance before they land on YouTube. Most of all, you can watch the full-length versions without the annoying copyright filter and subpar audio for just $5 a month. If you want to take your loyalty even further, you can watch our non-animated related reactions as well as submit requests for just $10 a month. So stay ahead of the curve and help us sustain the brand. Thank, Thank you. you. Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer. Here are my lovely wife, Jenny Lee, on the ones and twos. And this is We Ain't Seen the Reactions, the place where we react to everything we ain't never seen. And today, if you're read by the title, you know it's time to react to some more Fate Stay Night, man. I almost got tongue twisted on that. Look, I'll be so hesitant to say it because I don't know if I'm saying the right one. I don't know if I'm saying Fate Zero, Fate Stay Night, Fate Stay Night, Ultimate Blade Works, whatever it is. But we watching Fate Stay Night 2006, which we got a surprisingly good reception to. You guys said we were bold enough to take the challenge to react to this besmirching adaptation of the original works. You guys said that, hey, not that many people go that route, but I respect it. And I respect you guys too, because one of you guys were just noble enough to give us this recommendation to do. And I think this is the best route to take because it is providing a lot of good context that we'll appreciate later on down the line when we get into the other spinoffs and whatnot. Because apparently like the other ones like Face Stay Night, Ocean of Blade Works, they're like different scenarios on what path the main character would have taken you know what i'm saying like shiro if you oh, want to take really? this path or take that path so it's going to be interesting because those paths are going to create different routes and new uh you know content for us to watch uh but last time we got more context to this holy grail war and stuff of that nature and how these warriors came about uh, what I really enjoy is like each warrior has their own unique traits and some of them kind of contradict what their name is like uh, Archer I was expecting him to be like some kind of zoning type character that used bow and arrows or something of that nature But he has two swords So he's kind of close quarters combat and Rain she didn't like that shit She wanted Saber off the bat because Saber got that um What's that, the Noble Phantasm, which is basically like this invisible sword and shit like that, you know? And um, I thought it was visible, but what's the name didn't have enough magic to manifest it? No, nah, no, nah, it's like a... Oh, shoot, that's what she... Yeah, that's what it, they call it the Noble Phantasm. Only noble people can see this shit, I guess. People who ain't shit can't see shit. Yeah, but that's what Ren wanted. She just been talking a lot of shit about Archer and not being the type of character that she want to play with. You know what I'm saying? But I think... Him being able to use swords is going to play out to her advantage because she already has like somewhat, you know, uh, of a skill set when it comes to demanding him to do certain things. She understands how the rules go. And I think that's going to play out naturally in the long run because that character is a very unique character. And so is um Saber. I, I feel like even though Shiro, he's not that much of a mage, he still has his ability to kind of like see the structural integrity or... The, the makeup of certain items what if that has an effect on her noble phantasm it's just shit like that man that i'm excited to see but there's going to be a conflict of interest because we know he doesn't care about the holy grail and based on the explanation like the holy grail can disappear if you don't care about it if you just want to fight and save the world it can disappear and i feel like that's going to become a conflict of interest between shiro and sable and what they want to do but here we go guys i'm gonna go ahead and start my screen with code and we're gonna go ahead and go Boy, is she over there sleeping? What I would like to be doing. Mm. Actually, not really. She's sleeping. And here I am thinking I had to hurry home so we could talk. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> <sighs> I she just said this shit. I sensed Weird. your presence when you crossed the threshold of the house. There. You can sense that stuff too? So, are you feeling any better? Yes, I was able to sleep for most of the day. I believe I've recovered most of my strength. You've been in here since this morning? Yes. When one's not in combat and sleep can be had, it's best to take full advantage of it. Uh. Something wrong? No, I just feel bad. Don't. I'm quite fine here. What? Man, that shit look fire. Really that little shrimp Alfredo. Shit. Seriously. Boy. Do you remember that opening they had where it was like a special of them all just cooking stuff? Mm -hmm. Like I think it was these same characters. Yeah. It was called Cafe or something. She hasn't set foot out of that room all day. And she's probably not intending to. And then at least old girl. You have no idea how long it's been since I've had a meal of this song. I remember her name. What's her name? Oh. The girl with the red jacket. Red? Yeah. 
her dude sure. be out serving her all kinds of stuff. And yeah, she just appeared there. Can they see her? Or is He's just... seeing things. Oh. He's sipping in his mind. Oh, he want to feed her. Ooh. I actually feel like I want to. Oh, I'm supposed to make you spaghetti soon. Sorry, but I need you guys to wait a sec. There's Man, something that I gotta do. Saber. Feed her your soul. I got two women for you to eat right in the next room. Give her some of that good old baby batter. Just what are you thinking? Have you lost your mind? It's not right Souls. for me to hide you like this. Uh, I mean, that ain't no, that's no, <laughs> it ain't the same. Like <laughs> baby batter. Baby I have batter never heard of it. Sandwich, called man. that. I, oh god, I bet niggas be selling that type of stuff on OnlyFans. I should have done this earlier, but I'd like to introduce you to Saber. She'll be staying here for a little while. She my new girlfriend. Shiro. Saber, you can sit next to me. It'll be good for all of us to eat together. Well, I agree it's the most efficient way to go about this. But are you sure? It's... I've never been more sure. If you're going to be staying here, you're going to be eating here. And that means it's now six meatballs per person. How <laughs> <laughs> greedy is. Shit. You there, fess up. Just what are you here for? I already told you, Saber. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you. They'd have to get up out of my house. Seriously. The only reason I am here is because Kiritsugu wished it. It was his request that I protect Shiro from any and all enemies. That's right. That includes <laughs> cock blockers. <laughs> sit your ass down. All right, so then. let her sit down and put some of those meatballs in her mouth. Just how good you are. That's not Hold down to tackle you in the middle of a reaction. <laughs> really? You want to face her? Well, she is a kendo master, but... I'll say you can stay is by the slim chance you beat me. But if you lose, I'll be sending your fanny pack. I mm. will oblige, although I fail to see the point in this exercise. If I just need to prove that I can protect Shiro, this won't be a problem. I hear of baboons kidnap lion cubs so they won't grow up to kill them later. That's smart, actually. Uh-oh, Arthur mode. <laughs> yeah. Who's like Kendo Master now? Is it safe to assume you are convinced now? <clears throat> oh, this thing just getting started. Uh oh! I'm charging so angrily. The fuck? Say your prayers. She got another one under her dress. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Swipe your ass. If you'd like to keep going with this, I'd be happy to oblige. However, I think the outcome will be obvious. To let this one go, judging from that look on her face, she isn't gonna budge. But Shiro... Look, the compound is protected by a barrier. If someone crosses it, I'm just around the corner. It'll be easy to meet up. All right. Well, good night, everyone. I mean, don't you want to take up on, your, on her offer, though? Yep, right and early. What? Like sleeping in the same room. Of course he does. Make sure he's extra safe. Shiro, there's just one thing I'd like to ask you. Why did you feel so compelled to introduce me to everybody? What do you mean, why? You realize that having them know that I exist puts us at a disadvantage. The better strategy would have been for me to remain in my room. Maybe for you, not me. He couldn't have it on his conscience, sis. Couldn't. You want you to get thicker. Like you were being so you can fill out that armor better. You just woke up on Perv Cloud 10 today, huh? I mean, every man wants that woman to look a little thicker. You know what I'm saying? Put a little meat on the bones. You know? Guess how much weight I'm the game since being with this man. Don't try to put that on me. No, no, no. I guess. Zero. I gained. I gained 30 pounds being with you. Whose fault is that? No, I had already gained half of that. I'll say. I think 20, not half. I think 20. You only gained 10 pounds more than you want. Shit. What the world if you be thicker? As long as we get some air in here, everyone should be alright until someone finds them in the morning. Archer, let's get some windows open. Nothing will be gained from us staying here. So, I guess I gotta remember to keep my guard up now. She's probably right. <laughs> so you won't look at that. You in somebody else's territory. <laughs> that 
that's literally how I felt every day going to school. <laughs> like, I kid you not, as soon as we pulled into the parking lot, I would just have, just... You gotta get the trouble guts, like, you yes. gotta go dookie or something? Yes. <laughs> yes. What was that all about? That's anxiety. It must be another, um, yeah. master or something. Yeah. Lurking. My dumb ass would say another homunculus. Who is this? Nigga, I don't know you. That's <laughs> her problem. Burned. Bruh. What an idiot. I can't believe it. He didn't bring his servant with him today either. Stupid. You run into that clown again and At least my man knows that he needs to sit on top of the roof and brood. I'll do what I should do. I'll kill him. Go ahead and get one, sis. Issei, let's go get some lunch. What's up? Did you pull an all-nighter or something? No, but lately it seems like no matter how much sleep I get, I still feel tired. So if I get a chance to nap, I take... What if he's Me the... Me in high school. What if this Issei guy is the mystery, like, what is master? Happening? It could be anybody. To the Lancer. You should have that checked out. He kind of fits the description mm -hmm. a little bit. <laughs> Sensei. Regarding the student from the archery club this morning. Yes. Apparently, she failed to return home as well. Uh, well, what about Mato? Not here today. At this point, we're not sure if this is related to the other incidents that are happening in town. I would appreciate it if you would keep this under wraps for now. As far as the students know, those kids are simply out sick today. Yes, sir. That's all. Sorry I interrupted. One of these mofos is the master. I know that. His volume is a little low. It is. I was like that last time too. No, this does concern you to a certain extent, so I should probably fill you in. The captain of the archery club, Ayako Mitsuzuri, has been missing since yesterday. Then a student came forward who said he saw her talking with Shinji Mato last night. I guess they're gonna wait till nighttime to fight. Hey, excuse me. Yes. Have you guys seen Mitsuzuri today? I heard she was sick. Yeah, it's crazy. She's the kind of person who never gets sick. All right. Well, thanks. So, where do you want to go? Let's just get out of here. Looks like everyone's already mm -hmm. gone home. I guess it's too late for me to find out anything now. Sakura says that she doesn't know where he is, and the archery club doesn't even meet today. I'm laughing to bust through the window. Osaka, what are you still doing here? Well, if you're just gonna ignore me, I'm leaving. <laughs> do you have any idea how stupid you're being right now? Now what did I do? You're a master casually strolling around without your servant. You may as well wear a big sign on your back that says, please kill me. I've had enough. I'm no longer exasperated with you. Now I'm angry. <laughs> She's gonna give him a fade right now. We're only supposed to fight when no one else can see us, right? So then I should be safe at school. That would be true if you'd gone home when everyone else did. Mm. Ain't nobody does, shit. Running will only make it harder. We Damn. both know that I'm the only one with real power here. <laughs> Hold on, Tosaka. This is a huge school. There's no way you can be absolutely certain that this place is empty. Is that him watching her so arm glow like you. that, or is that her own power? My policy is not to let a chance slip by when it presents itself. Her arm is glowing. I know, but I think that's from his viewpoint, though. Like, his power. I think so. Doesn't it have something to do with taking down your target by pointing your finger at them? If you know what it is, there's no need to explain it. It may hurt, but it won't kill you. So be a good boy and hold still! Why are you doing this? You're serious, aren't you? Take spirit gun. Got that goddamn stormtrooper aim. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when that happens. Seriously. Should I cover her dress up? Oh. Damn it, I, I thought I was the only one. 
when you jump from a high distance and you just can feel it all the way up to your body. Mm-hmm. Validation. <laughs> and show the draws, girls. Penny shot. Hell no. No, 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 no. Seriously. I don't want to hear none of that shit you over there saying. Well, chanting the little words like Chucky be doing. He's trying to inhabit somebody's body. There you go. Structure established. Reinforce object complete. Here we go. Praise Jesus. Amen. No, sir. That beat a little hard. Uh oh. It's a stripper. I thought that was a boy. It, oh shit. <laughs> and a blind one at that. She don't know where the pole is at. Seishan from what's her name? I don't know who that is. But anyways, guys. Oh, game timer. Yeah. That was episode five, man. That was a pretty interesting episode, man, because we're kind of seeing how much of a dunce Shiro can be in terms of these rules. He's almost kind of like just happy-go-lucky. I'm not even going to really just abide to the rules. I'm just going to go about living my life. Mm -hmm. Knowing that things is different now that he's a master, man. He got the mark of mastery on his hand, and he's just walking around knowing that anybody can pull up. You would fail the no-lacking challenge, sir. You would fail. Especially if they had like just like servants instead of like guns and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody pulled up with their servant. And you see the other people hurt some serving just right around the corner. They're like, hey, man, I'm, I'm good, man. I ain't failed this challenge. But, yeah, this guy, he needs to get it together because I'm kind of getting tired of his obliviousness to all this shit that's going on. What do you have to say about that, Johnny? Well, yeah, it's just like maybe I don't want to say he's one of those the rules don't apply to me type of people, but he's acting like the rules don't apply to him. I guess he thought him and old girl was cool right. um and that was gonna save him but unfortunately it's not the case exactly man it's almost like he just wants to change the rules and she told him was like hey man i gotta be close to you at all times i gotta be in the same room with you so we can just stay guarded against all these other people or we can get our freak on whatever i gotta be up close it is what it is you know what i'm saying <laughs> So, yeah, but it was cool that he was able to kind of give her a little shred of humanity and introduce her to the other girls and give her some food to eat because she like she can get a little thicker. I ain't gonna lie to you. I got a thing for thick anime female protagonists that can beat everybody's ass. And yeah, but it looked like it's about to have a like a big fight is about to go down because we had a missing student and I'm guessing she's the master to this other girl that's on this tree. I think that's the servant as well. Hopefully we get a context of what her powers are and who she is. Maybe she's some kind of historical figure. Who knows? But I'm gonna get that episode. What historical figure is dressed like that? I don't know, man. I mean, you saw how Hercules looked. This nigga don't look like a Hercules. You like a fucking Brawly or something. But yeah, I'll get that one. Um, I'll give it a B minus. What would you give? I guess a B minus is in order. There you have it, guys. A B minus. Now we're going to go ahead and see this epic fight unfold because I got a new challenge. I got a feeling this is going to be a new challenge that's going to enter the fray. So here we go. Better do this fast. Trace on. So you going to use that as, a, as like a shield or something? Established. Reinforce object. Complete. I'm gonna need you to quit. What? Ain't that old bullshit? Because <laughs> I rebuke it in the name of the Lord. Little dominatrix over here, like she ready to be putting whips and chains and shit. Wet nigga. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get some shit reinforced. Reinforce some shit and throw it at her ass. Yeah. <laughs> that was 
was some good weed. Finally decided to show yourself. About time. You're not going to win this. It's clear. So just put down that ridiculous weapon. Wake up, Emya. You don't stand a chance against me. Well, we won't know for sure unless I try, will we? That's the spirit right the there. Mm -hmm. a few minutes ago, not me. Mm -hmm. right. Got that death note right. music playing. As you wish. I had intended to go easy on you, but clearly that's not something you respond to. Someone's here. It sounded like a scream. Hey, you don't even know where they are! Exactly. This nigga ran into anything. But I know that it came from down here. Hopefully he reinforced those poles. Trying to lay down some dual pipe action. This Somebody might be a fucking did. master. I don't think so. She might be playing with him. She might. Trying to set I him hope up. So. No, of course not. Someone tried to drain her life from her. Basically, they were after her mana. If we leave her like this, she'll die. Wouldn't you just try to kill him? But there's not a scratch on her. Externally, she's fine. But internally, most of her has been consumed. Step back. I can help with this. We should go with these starbursts. <laughs> and damn gushers is what that really was. Like. so serious. You have. You supposed to be dead. Emia, shut that door for me. Yeah, sure. It'd be funny if she shut. He he shut that door. She wake up and be like, "Got your dumb ass." The fuck? He always getting hit for somebody, man. Damn. What just happened? Bro, you gotta quit simping, bro. Emia, you look at your arm. There's a hole in it. Maybe it's not simping. Maybe he really just is a kind-hearted dude. Emia, to the detriment of himself. Seriously. <laughs> what? How much you want to bet this is home, boy? Hey, Shinji, you there? I bet. Thought that you were out sick today or something. Always for you. Wow. I don't feel bad for this guy. I'm sorry, y'all. He just walks right into trouble. He ain't got his servant <laughs> with him either, though. He had plenty of time to generate the servant. Unless he can summon her. Summon her, that. Is he trying to fight the servant? Hmm? <laughs> I don't know what he's trying to do. I can feel her watching me. So I will try a different approach. I'll make your death as painless as I possibly can. Mm. Mm -mm. Wow. I guess I was worried for nothing. Compared to the other servants I've run into, you're not even close to a threat. Nigga, no. don't be saying that now. He talking major smack. Seriously, boy, your ass it got this time. Old girl ain't gonna be there with one of them starbursts to save your ass. Actually, that's as far as you go. <laughs> See, I, it is stuck in his arm. That must be like her. Does she have a noble fat phantasm too? There'll be no escaping. You've been my prisoner from the very beginning. Oh, she does. What are you talking about? Not very bright, are you? Dummy. The weapon I drove into your arm back in that classroom is a spike attached to my chain. That thing's still there? <laughs> Damn. Change the structural integrity up of that. Can he weaken the structural inter integrity? Choose the most painful option available. I ain't never heard him do that. Boy, that's a way to go I'd right like there. To address a little comment you made earlier, suggesting I might somehow be inferior to other servants. Mm. Perhaps you'd like to reevaluate that position now. Put some respect on her name, nigga. Oh, she's trying to help this nigga? Of course. I thought she was gonna try to fight both of them. That'll hold it for now. So he gonna get this poor girl killed. I'm not really sure. She seemed like a servant to me. With a master? Maybe. 
It all happened so fast. Didn't he say he, he well, he, I, doesn't exactly I thought he hurt his friend or something. Yeah, he said he thought he was supposed to be out for, for school, like he was sick or something. The barrier covering the campus? Mm -hmm. Yeah, something did strike me as odd this morning. So whoever attacked that girl today has to be the same person who's putting up the barrier. And by the way, how is that girl? Don't worry about it. She's going to be all right. Do you see how that becomes a serious problem? I think so. Every time I get hurt, I'm draining Saber's mana, and I'm not doing anything to replenish it. I can't do this to her. <laughs> no more crazy stunts. I will say he's got guts, though. He do, but he's stupid. Any idea who it is or what his background is? I don't even know why he would want to leave her at home anyway. It was like she's gonna be bored out of her fucking mind. Who it is yet. All I know for sure is that their presence is hostile. They would have to be if they're willing to sacrifice every student in school just to strengthen their own servant. What? He's sacrificing the whole school? How is that even possible? Think about it. That barrier extends across the entire campus. It doesn't seem to me that the barrier is complete yet. But once it is, whoever created it can drain the life of every single student that's within the campus walls. Well, I'm not just going to stand by and let him do that. I don't intend to turn a blind eye either. I want to destroy it before it's activated. That's why I was poking around after everyone had gone today. I do. After what happened today, we've both revealed ourselves to the enemy as masters. This master we got at school is a truly vile piece of work, and I want to make sure that he's thoroughly dealt with Why do we only ever see the other masters? Are we only seeing like two other ones beside her and the, like the chick? Well, we beside seen him. the little girl. Right. Still don't know who's the master to the Lancer. Hold on. This doesn't mean that we're allies now. This is just a temporary ceasefire until we're This is a business relationship. The school. So basically, the enemy of my enemy is still my enemy. Of course it is. On the other hand, as long as there's a truce, you have my help. Do you have me becoming a Magus? No wonder you've got the skills of a rank amateur. That also explains why you know so little about magical lore. Yep. Reinforcement spells are about all the magic I've got. When you and I were fighting today, I reinforced a desk. Stop! <laughs> why in the world were you about to reveal this to me? Well, why shouldn't I? Y'all are enemies, nigga! Doesn't change the fact that ultimately you and I are still enemies. Y'all, competition, bro. That's like a rapper revealing they got a ghostwriter. But if we're gonna work together, don't you want to know what magic Bruh. I can do? It was my old man's belief that magic should never be one of those things you feel you have to go out of your way to hide. He said that to you, and actually meant it too. Yep. I think it was his way of telling me not to get too wrapped up in the rules. He even told me that I could quit my magical training whenever I wanted. You can't be serious! Tosaka. Your father was no one I would ever call a Magus! Seriously. And because you were trained by him, then neither are you! What are you getting so mad for? Look, I'm the first to admit that I'm not a Magus, but that doesn't mean- That's not what I'm mad about! You're missing the point! Bruh, she's supposed to try to kill you. I lost my temper for a moment. He what is a little is off, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. What exactly is it? You have to understand that when you're a Magus, your magic doesn't exactly belong to you. It's essentially the cumulative experiences of your whole family, passed down from one generation to the next. One of the main responsibilities a Magus has is to pass this knowledge down to the next generation. But your father, he didn't do that. Mm. He turned his back on that commitment. But he don't want him to be a Magus. Well, well, that's unforgivable. Your father made a decision. He prioritized fatherhood over the more significant role of being a Magus. Damn. <laughs> I'm sorry. She's like, nigga, being a father is overrated. Listen, I understand. I should really be heading home. Very well. Any information we uncover about this new master, we can exchange at school. We can meet on the roof tomorrow during our lunch period. Well, Boy, every anime that has to do with school. Gotta meet on the roof. Okay, Gotta meet on Gotta the pop roof. out the bento box. <laughs> this nigga. Emmy is going to be working with us for a little bit. Escort him home, will you? And don't try to attack him or anything. Fine. I can manage that. <laughs> I can take it from here. Go back to Tosaka. I planned to do that from the very beginning. I have no intention of taking orders from you. You bastard. 
From what Rin had told me, I imagined you to be a pacifist who lacked the ability to hurt a fly. But it seems you're quite capable of sensing when someone's hostile towards you. Exactly. If you want to fight me, I'll take you anytime. I got hoodies these two are gonna scrap it out one day. I'm putting an end to these grail wars as quickly as possible. And you think you can do this without losing a single life, or without losing your own life? You think I can't? I'm not here to talk about how utterly naive you are. I just want you to answer one question for me. What's that? I heard that you didn't use a command seal during your fight with Ryder. And as foolish as you are, I don't think you are so foolish as to think you can take out a servant on your own. So why didn't you summon Saber? None of your business! Last thing I gotta do is answer to you! That's alright, I think I can guess. Rather than make someone else suffer, you thought it was more heroic to grit your teeth and bear the pain yourself. You make my skin crawl. This nigga is reading your ass, bro. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Got my girl sitting at the crib with a kimono on. What are you talking about? Waiting for your return. To her. Unless she has to stick her neck on the line for me. Bro, he talked too much. See, he this, just reveals this all his This is the cards. equivalent of a nigga saying, baby, you just stay at home. You got to work. I'll take care of everything. I'll go fight the little heroes for you. Everybody done told this nigga. Do you really intend to end the Holy Grail Wars without ever having to fight? I didn't say that. When the time comes, I'll fight. Yes, but you won't kill anyone. You got a problem with that? You think only Why he acts so hard and he ain't got no skill? He, he, got a, he got a little skill. This character, y'all. Um, he's starting to take a turn for the dislike. The idealistic notions, the more devastating it'll be for you when these notions clash with reality. You don't know what you're talking about! I know that the path you've chosen isn't what it appears to be. Ideals that don't account for the true nature of humans crumble in the face of reality. Knowing all this, are you still willing to follow down that same road? Well, Shiro Emiya? Well, nigga. You can know, ball your fist up like Arthur all you want. Let this chick just sitting there collecting dust. You're back, Shiro. You're later than you said you'd be. Yeah, sorry about that. I didn't mean to make you worry, Saber. Shiro, I'm just glad you're safe. He should be trying to master his abilities or something, man. Learn how to use the marks. Knowing all this, am I still willing to go down that same road? What the hell was that bastard trying to get at? Y'all, Fate fans, I know you guys deem this as one of the worst adaptations in Fate, but is Shiro, is this version of Shiro as annoying as the other ones that are cool? Because I got a feeling that this right here is like the stupidest version of the character. Like, I ain't never seen somebody who got a nice device in the form of this girl, and he don't want to do nothing with her. He don't want to go out there I'm and sorry. fight. I know y'all hate when we call people a simp, but... He's simp behavior, a simp. Man. He got this girl just simp sitting at behavior. home barefooted. She might as well just be <laughs> his wife who have by five of his kids with uh, their own little noble phantasm weapons, whatever they got, like noble it's phantasm like, pacifiers and shit. And usually what makes a simp so bad is the woman don't actually be trying to do nothing for him and they go all out. This woman is actually trying to help you. Exactly. I know. No. And what makes matters even worse is like he has to get protected by Ren. Ren always has to come in and save his ass and heal his injuries up. But thankfully, he can actually replenish his body or heal his injuries. But yeah, but it he ends up messing power. over Saber. Right, which is probably why she couldn't heal up when she had fought the Berserker. You notice she couldn't properly heal her body. So that was probably because of that. Yeah, this you know? dude, he, I don't want to say he trash because I don't want to upset nobody, but it just seems like so he's, far he just he don't be using, you know. He's a liability, you know, than a necessity. I'll say that much, but we'll just have to see. Like this is like character progression, so we're actually gonna probably see him get better and learning how to use his own abilities as well as uh, utilizing Saber's abilities. Like, I'm just so interested in seeing this sword, though. Like, what does the sword mean? What, what does it signify? Is there anything else? 
because I know in the um, openings and trailers we see her using this big ass light beam to cut down stuff. Is this sword supposed to be the manifestation of Excalibur or some other kind of popular weapon? Let us, well, no, don't let us know. If we own something, you can just say we warm. You know what I'm saying? That's all you gotta say, man. Because it is kind of warm up in here. I like that. But yeah, um, it's gonna take a while for this character to kind of grow on us. Yeah, because right now he kind of. You know, he's a little bit not that smart. He's oblivious. Like, it it takes a girl to tell him how oblivious it is. It takes his own servant to tell him how obliv oblivious he is. And another servant, which belongs to Ren, you know, to say, hey, you're an idiot. You know, I could have been got you, nigga. I could have been just stabbed you in the back or something. Even that little bitty tiny girl is like, hey, you better summon a servant up or you're going to die. Like, what is it going to take for you to learn this? But we'll just have to wait and see because he's... I don't know because he done almost died like three times. So I don't know. I thought maybe near death experience would be like, oh shit, I better get it together. But not this guy. No, it's like his dad didn't want him to be a, ma a magus. He didn't want him to be a mage. I guess he didn't want that lifestyle to be on his son. But it's like that lifestyle keeps coming to him. It's like your whole community burst into flames and you became an orphan and now you've summoned one of the most powerful heroic warriors so what else are you going to do man you got to embrace this that's what i say like he has to find some way to embrace this and try to fight for the holy grail man maybe fight for world peace or something i don't know right whatever you're gonna do but uh i, I this episode i was gonna say a b minus i want to give it a c plus but what do you got I guess a B minus because this character it's not even a bad show at all. It's actually it's a not. good show. This character is just a doofus right yeah, now. Yeah, it's like sometimes I would rather them focus on Ren just so I can see what she's up to but then she'll have to right. be associated with his dumb ass. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know, man. Like yeah. This is just one of those episodes where it's kind of like uh, can you do something else, nigga? Can you grow to understand the way right. these rules work? I understand. I will fully embrace that shit. At least bring the damn servant with you, you know, instead of just letting her sit at the house and collect dust like a Nintendo Wii U. But hey, that's just me. I'm just a different type of nigga. But anyways, guys, um, we hope you enjoyed this reaction because we always have a blast reacting to things for you. Um, also, guys, if you could do us the biggest favor, if you liked this video and you enjoyed it, leave a like and also share it on all the different social media platforms. That way it can kind of help us in the algorithm thing and get the video out as to many people as we possibly can who enjoy the Fate series and enjoy watching people react to Fate. But this is your boy RBG, aka The Random Black Gamer. Here are my lovely wife, generally on the ones and twos. And this is Wins in the Reactions. We'll catch you guys in the next reaction to Fate Stay Night. 2006 edition. Peace.